Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see our exercise 3.6. So this is some special type of constructions. These are rhombus and square only here we will construct. Here only two diagonals are given. Okay, we have to construct the figure. So see construct a rhombus cart with CR and AT. So just note down the given measurements and draw the rough diagram. So CR is one diagonal and AT is another diagonal. So CR is 4.8 centimeters. Sorry, CR is 6 centimeters and AT is 4.8 centimeters. Now first draw the line segment CR of length 6 centimeters. So a line segment CR is drawn. Now we have to draw the second diagonal AT. So simply we cannot draw. Okay. So in the properties of rhombus, diagonals are perpendicular bisect. Okay. Diagonals are. So that's what we wrote in rhombus. Diagonals are perpendicular bisect each other. So first draw the perpendicular bisector to this CR. So to draw the perpendicular bisector, take the compass and just take more than half. Okay. So if we take like this, it is less than half only now. So just take more than half radius. Okay. Like this more than half. So draw the arcs above the line and below the line. Just cut the arcs from this side also. Okay, so now just join this using the scale. So this is the perpendicular bisector to this CR. Now we have AT how much? 4.8 centimeters. I am telling diagonals are perpendicular bisect each other. Bisect means dividing it into two equal parts okay so now by taking o as center half of 4.8 is 2.4 right so take 2.4 radius so this is 2.4 so with o as center draw an arc and this side also draw an arc Okay, so if you measure it, see this is exactly 4.8, right? So the intersecting point this side is T and it is A. Okay, this is the second diagonal AT. Now join this CT. and RT and see if you observe each side is 4 centimeters rhombus means all the sides are equal only no so by joining these we will get the rhombus CART okay so this is 2.4 and 2.4 total 4.8 so this is the construction of rhombus when two diagonals are given steps of construction a rough sketch is drawn for given measurements and a line segment of length 6 centimeters cr is drawn next a perpendicular bisector is drawn to this cr intersection point is o okay and by taking O as center with 2.4 centimeters radius, the arcs on both sides of CR on perpendicular bisector. Okay, these arcs. Now by joining CT, RT, CA and AR, required cart rhombus is formed. So two arcs are drawn intersect at T 
टी एंड ये ओके इंटरसेक्ट एट टी एंड ये नाउ बाय जॉइनिंग दिस सी टी आर टी सी ए ए आर रिक्वायर्ड कार्ड रोम्बस इज फॉर्म्ड सेकंड वन ए रोम्बस एस ओ ए पी सोप विथ एस ए एंड ओ पी टू डायगनल्स आर गिवन ओके सो दिस आर द गिवन मेजरमेंट्स एंड ड्रॉप स्केच इज ड्रॉन एंड वन डायगनल इज एस सी ए एंड द सेकंड वन इज ओ पी दिस इज फोर पॉइंट थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स एंड ओ पी फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स ओके फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ड्रा ए लाइन सेगमेंट ऑफ फोर पॉइंट थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स सो दिस इज फोर पॉइंट थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स नाउ सिंस द डायग्नल्स और परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्ट each other in your rhombus we have to draw a perpendicular bisector first for this okay so take the compass and take the radius more than half and draw the arcs on both sides join these two arcs this is the perpendicular bisector of ca so the intersecting point take it as t since diagonals are perpendicular bisect in rhombus this to and tp is half of this 5 2.5 cm so now take the compass and 2.5 cm radius this is and from t draw arcs with the same radius on both sides okay on both sides the intersecting points this as o and this as p so by joining os and oa and sp and ye the required rhombus will be formed okay this is the required rhombus so ap so steps of construction first one a rough sketch is drawn for given measurements and next a line segment sa is drawn next a perpendicular bisector is drawn to this sa and the intersecting point is now by taking t as center with 2.5 cm radius why 2.5 means already we wrote here okay so with 2.5 cm radius and 2.5 cm radius draw two arcs on both sides of sa on perpendicular bisector the point of intersections the points of intersection are o and p by joining so oa sp and ap required rhombus so ap soap is formed so third problem last problem for this chapter and this exercise a square jump with a diagonal 4.2 cm here in the above two problems two diagonals are were given but here only one diagonal y y means in a square diagonals are equal okay and they bisect perpendicularly just like as in rhombus but extra one these diagonals are equal okay so diagonals equal means this jm is equal to up both diagonals are 4.2 and they bisect each other right so if the intersecting point is o op is equal to o u is equal to half of 4.2 okay so we'll construct now a line segment 4.2 cm is drawn now take the compass and take more than half radius and draw the 
asks from M and J on both sides of the line. Okay. Now just join these two arcs or draw a line by passing these. Okay, draw a line passing through these two arcs. This is the perpendicular bisector to this. Now, the intersecting point, take this intersecting point as O. Taking O as center with 2.1 centimeters radius. See, this is 2.1. So draw arc on both sides of the line segment. Okay, I think compass has moved. Oh, no. So the intersecting points are P and U. Now just join this. JP, MP, and MU, and JU. So after joining, the required square JU, MP will be formed. So steps of construction. First one, a rough sketch is drawn for given measurements. And next, a line segment JM, 4.2 centimeters is drawn. And a perpendicular bisector is drawn to JM. Intersecting point is O, this one. And taking O as center with 2.1 centimeter radius, two arcs are drawn on both sides of JM on the perpendicular bisector. By joining JP, MP, JU and MU, the required square jump is formed. Okay, this is our 3.6.